What's up guys, it's Skippy Edge here and today I'm bringing you guys how to use Bandicam, install it. And the installation won't be will be detailed, but I can't do a tutorial because obviously I'm recording with Bandicam and I can't install it twice. But um so yeah. First what you want to do, uh go to your internet browser or whatever and go to bandicam.com. Click on the first one. And uh, so yeah, you'll come up at this home screen, <coughs> and uh, basically what you want to do is if you want the free version with the watermark, which is what I used um, like forever, <coughs> uh, you just want to go to download. You're going to have to download it anyway, whether you buy it or not. So basically you just go to download. Uh, I use Brothersoft, you can use Softnik if you want. Um, you would click here. It's not letting me download because I already have it. <coughs> so yeah, you would click there and download it. But uh, and then what happens when you download it? Okay, you're gonna click save instead of run. You're gonna click save. I guess you could click run, but click save. That's what I did. And it works for me. Click save and then you go to and it is compatible with Windows 8. To prove I'm using Windows 8, I'll just pull this up right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm using Windows 8. Um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, just do that. And then what happens when you install it and you save it? You just go here to your desktop or to your folder. You go to downloads and then it will come up in here somewhere. I don't know what it, that is, uh, but it'll come up in here as like a bandy soft exe file or whatever or something. You'll just click on that and it's like the setup to bandy cam and, um, if you choose to install it on your desktop, sorry, I'm saving a, or editing a movie. If you choose to install it on your desktop, uh, you'll get an icon like this, which is what I recommend doing because. Oh, right, I have Bandicam there anyway. But. So, yeah, you'll get an icon like this. I'm going to move it to there. Okay, so basically, what you're going to do is you just want to click on that to open it. Click yes. If it asks you that, and then it will open. Sorry, you guys, you guys are gonna have to live with this background thing in a second. No, I can't make it. So right now I'm recording. So if I were to hit this, I would have paused the video, which I just did pause the video because I am actually stupid enough to hit that. Uh, so basically, this is what you choose. Well, when you first set it up, you choose what file to go to. Um, basically, I just kept it default, Bandicam, and that's what I recommend you to do so it's easy to find, because basically you just can go into your documents, and mostly it's the first one for me, um, and then I have all my recordings here, and that one is actually live right there, but see, I have all my recordings here, and like this, this to that is like, uh, fails, or doing Hunger Games, or doing this, so yeah, and to prove that it is one of the updated versions, it's going to be posted on 114. It's recorded on 114, 2013, at 10:05 p.m. Uh, so yeah, this is around that time. I will try and get any updates out to you guys as soon as possible, as soon as I find them. But right now, this is the latest version. So yeah, basically, um, here's how I redo it, or here's how I set it. Um, I have it, my file set or whatever. Um, I have auto recording off. I don't have any time limit on mine since I have the full version. Now, if you have the free version, you can't. You only have a 10-minute file, a 10-minute thing, and there is a watermark at the top. With the full version, you do not, unless you set this to whatever time you want. So I could set it to if I were accidentally to leave it on, I would set it to 10 hours. In five minutes and zero seconds and then yeah <clears throat> now we probably blow up my computer uh, first of all with with the uh, file size and second of all it just blow up my computer <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna keep that disabled uh, basically and then you can uh, go to video and set your hotkeys so my hotkeys are number pad seven for just record st and start it and number pad um number pad blah 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 i can't even speak and number pad um number eight to pause the video now you can hide the mouse cursor 
which would take the mouse right off the screen right now. Uh, I don't think you guys are able to see it, but then you click on it again, or you can add mouse effects, which uh, I can prove to you that that adds mouse effects somehow. I have never used the mouse effects, so I don't really... Oh yeah, here we go. So basically it just highlights it, I think. It highlights it, so I guess I should have put that on. Um, so yeah, right now it should be red or orange around it, whatever I'm clicking on. Um, you can add logos to it. Uh, this is at least for the full version. I don't know about the free version. I never tried. But basically, this is how you set it up. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> basically, you just have your regular soundtrack set here. Just your regular Windows 7 sound, W A S P or AP or Windows 8. I don't know if this works for Mac. I'm just showing you guys the Windows tutorial. And then your secondary sound device. If you're using a mic, try and set it to mic. Uh, I have a webcam. Um, microphone and stuff but if you're using a mic put it set it to the mic if it's a USB or whatever and then if you're not using a mic use primary sign sound capture which which sorry that should have took my voice out uh, basically so yeah all right there's my microphone and basically I'm getting the blue Yeti soon so yeah anyway and then you could choose to record your voice only when pressing space so right now I'm pressing space and you guys should be able to hear me. And in like two seconds I'm going to let go of space. And you guys can't hear me hopefully. But you guys actually might be able to hear me because my Windows 8 goes through, um, it goes through, uh, whatever, the Windows 8 sound or whatever. It doesn't matter. And then two sound mixing. So primary plus secondary into one audio track. So you can basically split that up if you want to split that up. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have did that, really. If you guys want to split that up, make you have an audio track and just a video track so that you can use your audio on somebody else's or give the audio to somebody else or whatever. Whatever you guys tend to use it for, uh, that is your ordeal. Uh, for images, you can set a hotkey to set a screen capture or you can do a speed art every 1.1 second. Uh, you can hide a mask cave for the um, cursor and enable and disable the shutter sound so right here this is my mic volume um, so yeah basically that is it you can also change the screen to rectangle on screen which should have um, so now it's a rectangle on screen so uh, I can move that around anywhere and now it's full screen so yeah hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope this guys i hope this helped you if you did enjoy please leave a like on the video and if it did help you please leave a like if you have any questions leave a comment and i will help you um and if you if you want more tutorials on how to do things that i use uh go ahead and leave comments or um message me on youtube uh so yeah i've been skippy aj don't forget to like favorite and subscribe if you haven't already um and i will see you guys later bye